and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and today I'm doing an intuitive tarot and oracle card reading for you for the week of July 20th, 2015. This is only a general reading. If you'd like a more personalised reading, you can email me at advice to think twice at gmail.com and we can get you scheduled for a private reading. Let's get started. This reading is for Aquarius. Now, Aquarius, what I do is I pull a tarot card for each day of the week and then a card from the Verasibila Oracle to give me more insight. Then we have an angel card to serve as your general focus for the week or spiritual advice. And an angel oracle card, sorry, um, a romance angel oracle card, I'm getting tired, um, for advice in your love life, in your emotional life. Okay, so you start the week on Monday with the Two of Cups, coupled with the Lover, lover card. So a good day, um, a day where you focus on your romantic partnership with the lover card in there so it could be you spend the day with your partner or um, you spend the day focusing on your partner doing things for your partner if not with them um, it is a beautiful beautiful card where you feel included in your partner's heart where you feel um, their love for you and their appreciation where you feel reassured that both of you are very much involved and both of you are putting in the love and the work necessary to make your relationship work. For some of you, obviously, this is a very close friend, a very close friend, an honest friend, someone you rely on greatly. And you spend the day together or you show each other how much you value each other and how much you trust each other. You lean on each other. So definitely a beautiful day. Tuesday you have the Nine of Coins coupled with the Sospiri card. Now to me that means your ship is coming in. To me that means the big payoff for all your hard work. It feels like you've been working and working and working and sometimes you would get doubts. Is this going somewhere? Is anyone even noticing all the work I'm putting in, all my efforts? And on Tuesday, yes, yes, they did notice and now you're getting rewarded for it and you are enjoying the fruits of your labor you are looking at your life and you are feeling very very proud of all your accomplishments now it's a coin card so obviously money coming in money getting better finances getting better um you're getting recognition for your work so maybe promotions for some of you for for others, this is in love. So this is you being proud of what you've accomplished accomplished in your relationship. But yes, overall, just looking around and feeling very, very content and very, very happy. Wednesday, what you have coming in is the Queen of Coins. Now, she's an earth sign, could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Cap Capricorn. Um, it could be an earth sign, or it could be someone exhibiting the qualities of the Queen of Coins. Now, she's a mother figure, I'm getting, first and foremost for you. It could be your mother. It could be you're the mother. Um, she is kind. She is considerate she is protective understanding she values her home and her family um, she works hard a very very hard worker um, with her mind on her responsibilities 
she um, is very caring. She wants to make sure everyone's taken care of, everyone's happy. So if this is you, Wednesday you're focusing on your home, you're focusing on your family, you're focusing on how um, you can make your home better or how you can make it more beautiful for your family or for yourself if you don't have a family. Um, it is caring for your children, for your spouse or for your brothers and sisters or for your parents. It is, she brings in prosperity. Now, the coin on her forehead is illuminated. To me, that looks like the third eye. And so she's very intuitive as well. She uses her intuition to choose what's best for her family and for herself. And so I see this queen of coins coming in with maybe an offer for you that will bring you prosperity because it's coupled with the young lady card and that is something at the beginning something pure something immature still but definitely a caring caring card a caring person bringing in warmth and security and prosperity to your life. Thursday you have the faith card. Now it is coupled with the soldier card, the military card. Um, the military card usually signifies someone keeping a secret or bad news coming in. So for some of you, I feel you get some bad news and then you turn to your faith to help you get through it. Or it could be strife or bad news within an organization, your job place maybe, your, sorry, place of work I meant and job. Um, so it could be that. It could be some conflict you need to deal with. Now this could be within a group you're part of, within the community, colleagues at work. But it could be, for most of you, I think... You're witnessing this. For most of you, this is not happening to you. You're witnessing it or maybe trying to reconcile everyone, trying to mediate, I'm hearing. Friday. Friday you have the Four of Wands coupled with the Fortune card. So the Four of Wands is a celebration in the home. Could be engagements, could be marriage, could be um, bringing a new baby into the home or um, a christening, I'm hearing. It is a celebration in your sacred space, which is your home. It's, it's a celebration in your home. And I'm hearing your home is protected. Your home is protected. And you're being very grateful for the celebration in your home. Now Saturday you have the Five of Wands. Coupled with the Fidelity card. So for some... It could be some bickering, maybe, in your relationship, in your partnership. For others, I'm getting sibling 
rivalry, rivalry, sorry, um, or it could be your children having a bit of a fight, or that's what I'm getting for for some of you. So this is something happening in your home. So if it's not with you and your spouse, it's with your children being. Um, some of them are play fighting. Some of them are, are actually competing for something. It could be for your attention or... It's not... A bad card. It's No one really gets hurt. If you look at it closely. Now, it is shaped like a tree. So, for a few of you, this is working together. This is, you're the branches of the same tree, if you will. And you, you come together for something, for a project or... And for others, it is competition. For others, it is petty quarrels. But I don't feel it's anything too big. On Sunday, you do have the Nine of Wands, coupled with the Amore card. Now, for some, some of you are just tired, you need a break, you need to relax. Um, for some, this little quarrel on Saturday really took it out of you and you just, you, you're too tired, you just need a break. Um, for some, this is in love. You're tired of fighting. You want to give up. But the card is telling you, you're almost there, don't give up. That's what the, the, the Nine of Wands is telling you. It's telling you, even though it doesn't feel like it, you're close to the end. You're close to everything being resolved. For some of you, I'm hearing you've got you were you got burnt too many times, and now you're not willing to trust or open your heart because maybe love is coming in, but because you got hurt so many times in the past, you're not really looking at it. And the card is telling you, don't give up. It's telling you, don't give up. Keep going. You're almost done with the difficulties. Your spiritual advice for the week or general focus is the chariot. And it reads, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. So, again, I mean, this ties in with the Nine of Coins, with the achievements, discipline and willpower, ties in with faith, Five of Wands, Nine of Wands, with willpower to keep going, public recognition, Again, it's you being appreciated and recognized for your work. If this is in your home or at your job. The chariot is progress. It is movement. It is new developments. Moving forward. It is putting your troubles behind you and moving on. It is you finding your willpower, your strength to move on. Your Romance Angel Oracle card is Retreat and it reads, It's time to disconnect from the world. Now we have a couple 
walking away together. End the card. So, obviously, for couples, you'll be taking a second honeymoon. You will be taking a trip together. Um, you will be just disconnecting from the world, just spending time with each other, reconnecting, um, working on your relationships, focusing on your relationship, focusing on your feelings for each other, developing your feelings for each other, falling in love all over again. For the singles, I'm hearing you need to step back from from dating. You need a time out. You need... It's like you've been going from one relationship to the next. You, you haven't had time to just unwind, to just process all the lessons, everything that's happened, all the times you got burned. You just kept jumping into the next relationship, hoping it will heal you. And so I'm hearing, stop doing that, just take some time. Disconnect from dating. Take some time to focus on yourself. Analyzing yourself, understanding yourself better. And that will heal you and then you will be ready to go back and you will attract higher quality individuals, if you will. Because you won't be looking from a place of hurt. You will be standing on your own two feet, confident and ready, and that will attract like-minded people. It won't attract people who just want to take advantage of you or who will hurt you and lie to you. And so definitely take the time to get to know each other, to sorry get to know yourself before you meet someone else all right aquarius that is your week again um it's a general reading so some of it will apply some of it won't um just take what resonates with you because that's what you're meant to hear that's the message that's meant for you um, please do leave me feedback in the comment section. Let me know how close I was to the mark or if this resonates with you or not. Um, and let me know how things work out as the week progresses. Um, overall, I think it looks like a pretty good week. So yeah, let me know. I'd appreciate it. So thank you for being here. I will see you next time. And uh, take care.